we go. Look at that garbage going on. They're starting to peel and flake. Garbage. That's the driver's side. Passenger side. It's starting to do this almost looking like it's chipping kind of crap out here on the lens. But anyways, that has to go. Car show season is finally about to come back. So we got to get rid of these things. We're going to upgrade them. And honestly, guys, it's been needing to be done for a while. They've been peeling a lot lately. And these tinted lens, I'm not going to lie, can't see shit at nighttime with them. So we're going to upgrade them to a projector style headlight. Let's go check it out. All right, check out this bad boy. So you can see that it has around the projector, it's got like the chrome casing. The lens is clear, very, very nice and clear. The inside of the light, trying to keep the glare off, this thing's so shiny. But as you can see, the inside of the actual light, the housing is a real shiny jet black. It looks really nice. Also, this bottom light right here is a LED bar more or less, and this will actually act as a parking light and our blinker. When our blinker is engaged, this entire light strip will light up the amber color when we're blinking. So that's gonna look pretty cool. But all in all guys, they, these headlights for 279 bucks really look nice. I'm really digging it. All right, guys, so we got one headlight installed. Old headlight on the left side, passenger side. New Amazon headlight projector on the driver's side. Like I said, these were my tinted cheap eBay headlights that I got and I mean they look good being all blacked out but you just can't see nothing at nighttime with them they're just not bright enough let's fire them up so that is with the running lights on you can see the big big LED bar down there lights up real nice versus that And that is with the headlights on. The passenger side still has my HID bulbs in, which are really blue. This side is a factory HID, or excuse me, this side is a factory projector halogen bulb that the, these headlights come with. They don't look too bad. I'm probably going to upgrade those to, I'm probably just going to put some LEDs in it to be honest. Um, probably do away with my HIVs and just do LEDs in the projector bulb. But I'm liking it guys. Looks pretty good. It's not that dark out here yet, but you can kind of get an idea of how much light's going over there. You can definitely see the projector is putting a bunch more light on the wall over there compared to the one little spot that the HID is hitting. I'm going to show you the blinker. I think the blinker is pretty cool on these lights. So there you go. That is how the blinker works on these projector lights. The LED bar crosses over and goes amber and the whole thing blinks which is pretty cool. Pretty badass. I like that a lot. These lights are capable of running daytime running lights as well, but I am not going to run those as I do not want headlights on, or any light for that matter, on during the day. That's my preference. You know, hey, if you're hanging out down there in Mexico or something, and you want your headlights off or need them off, well, I don't want daytime running lights. So, but I am going to show you how to hook them up if you do want to run the daytime running lights on these headlights. 
if you want to use or you want the daytime running light feature that these projector lights come with this is the harness they supply you and it has a few connections there's one connector here like a bullet connector right there that you will plug into the headlight each headlight has a little connector coming off of it so those will plug into each other and that's why this wire right here is so long so it'll reach all the way across to the other side and then on the other end there is a fuse and three wires so if you want the daytime running light feature the red wire will go to battery hot the ground will go to a ground and the gray wire right here will go to a switched 12 volt feature on the truck like cigarette lighter fuse um, anything that has a switched 12 volt on so in other words if the truck is off the keys out there's no power to it when you turn the key on power goes to this wire and that is how your daytime running lights will work on these aftermarket projectors if you want that feature I'm not hooking that up because I don't want the daytime running lights at nighttime if I have the lights off I want it to be off completely that's just my preference I'm not a fan of daytime running lights um, the only other thing that might be confusing and it was to me um, for a second I thought they didn't send me something or they didn't send me a connector but this connector plug coming out of the projector light as you see has this end on it and it will not plug into your factory truck connectors the factory uh, wiring harness on the truck so I was like shit what's going on here but I ended up figuring it out on your old headlight you will turn out you'll pull out the, the corner light which is the amber bulb light and what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna use this socket and it will go in here and twist in just like the factory setup however you're going to remove the bulb and discard the bulb and then you plug the socket directly into this harness coming out of the new projector light and then you will insert the socket into the light and then plug the factory connector into the back of this that is how these lights work so if you get to this part and you're like hey nothing plugs into here remember that is the deal you got to remove the bulb plug this in place of the bulb plug this into the light and then plug your factory connector on the back and then everything plugs in place that is how it hooks up so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this one mounted up. All right, guys, we got them both installed. And they are looking good. I'm definitely liking these new lights. And I got half the neighborhood over here playing in front of my house, so it's probably going to sound like a kindergarten school over here. Right on, man. Looking good. That is just the parking lights, and that's the headlights. Definitely a nice flat straight beam that's really wide. That's going to be nice being able to see at nighttime for once. Like I said, I'm going to pop some uh, LEDs in those and try them out. That way we get rid of the, the yellowish kind of color, and I think I'm going to like them. There you go, guys. Got the... Amazon projector lights installed looking good. We're gonna go test them out go for a drive here Maybe tonight if not tomorrow and see how they do at nighttime But other than that guys, I'm really liking them and they look really good on frostbite. That's for sure So as you can see it's getting dark out here. So I think that's gonna do it for today guys as always stay safe out there Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one